Hey guys, you're watching, you want to know me, my name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Automation. Now today, we're having a bit of a change of plan. We were planning originally to do sort of a, a cheap car challenge or the cheapest possible car challenge. But I was really unsure of it when I had the idea, so I had a go at it. And it turned out to be really boring. You just get a small engine and you turn like the slider bars down and boom, you've got a cheap, bad car. So I decided to set myself some goals and say, right, let's say minimum of 70 miles an hour uh, and a decent 0 to 60 times so where at least can be used on the road and, and, and be, you know, bought. It just turned out to be boring. I just didn't find it all that interesting to do. I mean, here's a picture of it. Boom. I just used the mini base because it was nice and small and lightweight, so you didn't need as big an engine to be able to lug all the weight around. But it just wasn't that fun. I didn't enjoy it. Uh, so uh, I'm glad that I tested that out before recording an episode of it. Instead, today, we're going to be building a muscle car. Oh, it's going to be fun. Big engine, uh, heavy car, rear wheel drive, just have fun. Now, I've installed a load of mods, as you can see. Did I have the mods last time uh, that I played this game with you last time I recorded an episode? There's some really cool. That's like the McLaren P1 look. I mean, it's so cool. Um, but yeah, it's a bunch of different ones. Now, I think I found a good one that I was looking at the other day. A 1985 body shape. Yeah, this one. Look at that. That is muscle all over. Now, we're going with modern muscle, though. We're going to be using the 1985 coupe body, but we're going to be using it in the year 2018 this year okay so it's gonna be a modern car but we're just using an old body i think we can get away with this car looking a little bit more modern anyway now because it's modern i also wanted to be quite expensive so quite quite nice i think we're going to go with either aluminium or partial aluminium partial aluminium for the panels monocoque chassis um i don't know what we want for the chassis i think carbon fiber is a little bit over the top maybe glued aluminium it's expensive or well, HS steel. Maybe HS steel. Longitudinal engine. We don't want no transverse engine in a, in a muscle car here. Front suspension double wishbone. Uh, we could probably do the back double wishbone. Or we could even go with like... I think we'll go with multi-link. It's a little bit more sporty. And it's still got the... It's more sporty and more comfortable. Although comfort isn't really, let's say, a priority in a muscle car. It's always nice to have in a modern car. And that's what we're building. So, that's our base model to begin with. Now, I reckon we can make this look a little bit more aggressive. We can lean this forward, get a little bit more of a, I don't know, what's it like, um, Dodge Charger, isn't it? A little bit more Dodge Charger looking. I don't know how far, like, you can, go, you can angle crazy, but we don't want that. We want to just have a little bit of a front angle down on it. Uh, what else can we change? We're going to want to have these flares out a little bit, because we're going to have to have some decent wheels. I'm thinking, like, 265s or probably something like that is, is, is what it's going to have to be on, on, on here. Yeah. Uh, doorway or engine. I think we've got enough room there. I don't think we need to adjust this up at all, really. A uh, back door. Does it even move? Oh, it does move. There we go. Uh, what's this one? Ooh, I saw something. Oh, like a back window shape. Yeah, why not flare that out a little bit? Uh, and then for the boot, we're probably going to want to extend it out a little bit. So we've got some actual boot space going on. Apart from that, we can't really change anything else. Now, this is where it's going to come in, right? I'm going to use orange as the base color because it's a beautiful color right it's a uh, custom color i made it's got like a little hint of like darker orange in there too in yellow a bit pearlescent but we're gonna get the bottom half of it black oh now that's cool right two-toned car we don't get en you don't get enough of these going on trim what does trim do well that does this sort of edge here see steel looks quite nice so does chrome. Or do we just black it? Plastic. Metallic silver. Steel. You know, I, I think I like that. I think it, it puts like a little uh, trim line down it. I like it, but I don't like it around there. Can we change, can we change the wind, window trim? Yeah. We'll change the window trim to be... Like maybe like a carbon fiber trim. So we've still got the silver down there, but then it just goes to black up there. Beautiful. Now, if we just stick the wheels on quickly. So I've got some modern wheels as well. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Wire framed wheels. What are those ones? Oh, I wonder, does the paint work with this though? Oops. No, no, no. Close. 
<gasps> it does. Can we can we do that as well? <gasps> yeah. What's this one do? Well, that's the side. Now, I like that being orange. And I want that one to be... Yeah. So we get, like, the little orange outline on it. Yeah. Oh, now, already. It looks cool already, right? The car already looks cool. Now, fixtures. Let's go with... Now, the headlights. I want to have the headlights same. But oh, and I learned something as well. Check this out. Let me just do, like, quickly. If I put a grill down, and then I put a light on, let's just say I, put, I get this light. See how it's gone behind the grill? I learned these buttons are the layer buttons. So you can click that, and then they sit in front of it. Hey, that, I never knew that before. That's probably going to hopefully help out a few of you guys. Uh, I hope at least. Uh, so yeah, I think it's pretty smart. Now these are cool, right? So I've got loads of mods now. Um, just to add some more fixtures and stuff. But I'm thinking, putting these on the side. Maybe extending them around. Maybe not that far. Something like that, right? And then get in. Little nice round headlights. To go in there. Right, so one like that. Maybe take away this sort of fogged glass look. Which one's the fog glass look? There we go. Ooh. Maybe put like a little bit of white in it. See, I just don't like how... See how it's got that texture going down it? I don't like that texture. Oh yeah, I think I like that there. Just so it looks more modern. I think the, the lines going down it make it look a little bit old. Um, can we change that? Nah, we'll leave that orange. I can, I can see a little bit of orange in there. Okay, so there's one. And then we're going to shift click that across. And have dual headlights on there. Mean. Aggressive, right? Then we're going to grab a grill. Now what grill do we want here? Something like this. Flip it upside down. Thin it out a little bit. Bring it along. And then... See, it's got to be nicely crafted, these. We're going to grab another set of lights, but make these smaller. Ah, oh, no, that's, that's cool, right? Hey, just like smaller little spotlights in there. Now, can I put like a little... Like, if, I'm, if I shift pick that grill made it smaller just so i can get like an orange line going down the middle Oops. if i sit that forward does it do it it doesn't say anything i, I just don't like that going through the light there but i might not be able to tell you know we might not be able to see it do i like that i don't know if i do like that actually i might give that a bit of that nope we'll ignore it so badge on the front uh i'm gonna have to have one of these to make it stand out why is it sort of leaning down that much Hmm. Not a huge fan of that. Not a fan of how it sort of angles down all that much. I wish there was a... Uh, like, I know we can rotate, like, around that way, but I wish you could rotate that way as well. Okay, we might just have to put the little, our little Z straight on it. Have it bigger. We're proud of it on this car, so we make the Z bigger to stand out. Okay, yeah, that'll do. Now... The bottom here, we're going to want to have uh, probably this same grill again. But we'll just fill that in with orange. Do I like it that way up? I think I'll flip it the other way. Make that smaller. And put the number plate in there. It's fine. I always, I always try and leave the number plate at the size that it wants. And then black and black. Oh yeah. Trying to like alternate the colours all the way through. Vents. Let's use these modded round ones. To go in there. Can I like... Like, I like the little subtle touch of orange. I wish it was, it was more of a touch, though. You know, more, more, more out there. And I'm going to put even more front headlights on here. Um, can I use the... Do these ones set back, though? I want ones that set back instead of coming out forward. Like, which ones do any of them do that? Like, these don't, do they? No. I want the lights to, to be, like, inset.
No, it doesn't work either. Oh, are they in there? They might be in there. Um, Alright, maybe we'll just go with another one of these. Oh, no, that works. Yeah, 100%. And then... Or black? No, I like the orange in there. I just wanted something there. Just so when you look at it like that, see how it's like set back then? I think it looks really smart. I think a little bit smaller. Okay, what a front. I think I'm happy with that front, right? It's aggressive. It's modern looking. Still got that muscle feel to it. Oh, let's name it YouTube Muscle. Uh, standard. Okay. Uh, bonnet scoop. We're going to want to have big old bonnets. Ooh. 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 I don't want to go too crazy, but I want to go crazy. Yeah! Ah, oh, now that's mean looking, right? That's how that's how the whole front. I like it. Mirrors. Again, we want sleek, small. Yeah, these perfect, absolutely perfect. Choop. Make them an actual size that makes sense. Ah, oh, that, 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 that that's cool, right? Now that's cool. Uh, side indicators. Again, let's use a load of modded stuff today. Uh, but make it black, black, black. There we go, just so it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, black mirrors. Ooh, or what about just black stalks? Yeah, black stalks on it. Okay, door handle. Oh, uh, because it's a modern car, I'm going to go with these. These are like the little Tesla handles that you get. Make it black, though. I think that looks cool. I think that looks really, really smart. And I think a little grill down here would be cool as well. Um, something like that one. That's good. Oh, and I like it in orange. Just give some air to the back brakes there. Okay, I think that's probably all that we need on this. Oh, a fuel cap, though, we'll need. Black. Make it a little bit bigger. I think the fuel cap being up there is really smart. So about there. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so neat. That's really, really neat. Okay, for the back though, this is where I always seem to struggle. Oh, back though, spoilers, look at this. Boom, I've got a million spoilers. You know how I was saying that how I had no spoilers? We've got spoilers, this is ridiculous. What an earth sort of spoiler? No, 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 go away. But yeah, there's a load of different spoilers now, hey? I can make all sorts of tuna cars and stuff, like Fast and Furious ones. Look at that, hey? That actually doesn't look too bad on there. Um, but I think we want something a little bit sleeker. That, possibly. Have we got one that, like... What's this one? Oh, perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bigger. I don't want to hang over the side of the car. I want to be on the boot. Now, what colours change what? Do I want all to, all to be black? Probably all to be black. Oh, yeah. Now, that looks neat. That's a nice little subtle one. Move it back. Yeah. Okay. For the rear lights, we're going to go with tail lights. I'm going to use these squares. Now, I think... Now that we can layer, oh, what's the difference between those and those? Nothing. Uh, now I can layer. I think we can do something really quite cool with the layering, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that one, that one. Try and get these perfectly in line. Now are they? I want three of them, right? But are they too close together now? Does it look too much? It looks too much. Let's, uh, uh, my delete button is, wait, let me move my mic, hold on, uh, they can't get me out underneath now. Let's make it a little bit smaller, and then do three of them that size. My OCD's going nuts. Oh, I just did it. There, perfect. Okay, that looks really cool. See how they're set back like that? Oh, now that's cool, hey? Now, if we also copy this again bring them down and say like a white one 
I want it whiter. Whiter? That one was the whitest. C. Let's put that in the middle one. And if we need to, we can layer these to fix stuff. Okay. And then we drag that one across there. I don't know which one, I, which orange I like. I think I like that orange the best. Move that in there a little bit. How cool does that look? And then we leave the third one just as like a brake light or like a, bit, a big fog light or something like that. Uh huh. Now on the back, can we do like a decent badge on the back now? It's not gonna like sit in all weird. No, it sits in fine now. So we'll have this one in the middle. Should be a little bit bigger. I don't know. Maybe plastic that and black that. Light of plastic? Yeah. Perfect. Z. Layer forward. Oh. Huh. Just got to find... Eh. Just got to find a spot that like the game likes it to be at. Why can't like, I lay it forward? Oh, that looks so bad. I might have to just take the Z out. Because I like that. I like that being in there. We'll do one more try. No. Okay. We'll just leave it like that. Trim. Oh, and I got a bumper bar as well. It's uh, That's really cool. I, I tried building a... a uh, uh, like a 4x4 four four using it. And it turned out quite nice. I might, I, if I've got time, I might show you. Okay, so join those up together. See, I think I just... Just neat and tie it all together there. Uh, we're going to want to have some details on the back here. Like dual cam or twin cam. Quad cam. Written in there. And then what about like a little, yeah, like a little scribble on it. I think it's just a, a, a subtle touch in there. I think that looks pretty smart. Okay. Uh, number plate on the back here. We're going to want to have grill again. Use my favourite grill in the game. This one. By far my favourite grill in the game. Uh, and then... I think we'll... That and that. How about that a little bit? Number plate. Black. Black. A little bit taller again. Just so I can see a little bit of orange around. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, let's grab these. Make that longer. It's like a little number plate lights. Oh, oh, you know, I'm happy as. I'm happy as with this. Let's have that down there and put the grill back in. Maybe make it orange. So it stands out. Make it thinner. Make it longer. And then... Save. These ones. One, two. Three, four. Get them in line. Like, are they in line? Up, up, left. Now, how cool is that? Do we need anything more on there? Have I missed anything? Uh, Ariel, let's get like a smooth shark fin in there at the back, painted black. Anything else? Uh, cooling done, spoilers done. Oh, yeah, we'll put a, a lip. Wrap that around like that. I don't think it needs one on the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aggressive. I don't think I've forgotten about anything, right? Wheels are done. Exhausts are done. All that's done. Yeah. Now, if that isn't the coolest muscle car you've seen in your life, I'm so pleased with that. I would drive that. I would love to own that, in fact. Okay. Perfect. Engine. So, we're going to want to have... Uh, 60 degree 
in line. Uh, hold on. Give me chair comfy. Uh, in line eight, a V8. We'll make it have uh, that and four and that now how big do we want it let's say uh, i don't want to go too crazy i mean we don't want to have like a, a six liter thing going on and then Three and a half liter, three point five five or something like that. Oh, oh, three and a half liter. Is that big? A three and a half liter. You know, it doesn't sound that unreal. It's two thousand eighteen. If if this was like nineteen eighty five when the body was made, sure we could stick like a four point six liter in there. But this is modern day, and three and a half liters. We can get a lot of power out of. We'll have VVL on this as well. Okay. Bullet steel, lightweight titanium, lightweight forged because it's going to be producing a lot through it. I'm going to try and keep these slider bars at zero if possible. Ignition, let's say like 12? Like a high compression rate. We'll keep the cam profile where it is and the VVL for where it is at the moment. I'll leave VVT as well. We'll probably go with all cams. I'll come back to it though. Uh, we're not going to put a, super uh, a turbo on it because or turbo charger, because if we put a turbo charger on it, it makes us only be able to have short cast exhausts and it's going to limit the power. We'll actually make more power not having a turbo on it. Plus, it's a VA. Why would you want a turbo on it? Injection, direct injection. I don't know if I want to go with twin or per cylinder. Like, is there really much of a difference? Let's go with twin for the moment and performance. We'll run it on premium fuel. Uh, fuel makes you want to have quite lean or not like how what, what do we want to do with it let's have it here for now we'll leave it about where it's 14 isn't it by standard uh ignition timing about there and i wanted to rev like a decent amount i don't know seven and a half thousand revs let's say to start with uh probably long tubular Oh, I'll be able to show you the red glowing exhaust. I don't think I've been able to show you yet. Dual exhaust. Obviously, we've got four exhausts on the back. So, let's split up again. We turn one, two. Uh, bypass? No. I'll have to put the exhaust up a little bit. Three should be good. Or oh, we're starting to limit. We can't have front wheel drive. Or oh, it's going to be close to having front wheel drive. And then I think high flow reverse reverse is just like your standard. What are we doing then? 295 horsepower. Not too bad. A little bit of knocking. But you know what? I've had worse starts to go off. Um, let's drop that down a little bit. Let's put that back up a little bit. <laughs> let's put this up a little bit. Okay, so we're getting some more power out of here now. I like that. L look at the look at the torque curve. See how it goes like up and then down and then up and then down and then up and then down. But if we do that. It then sort of goes nicely up. So I think that's probably a good sign. We don't need to worry about this page. Per cylinder? Or twin? I think that's more of a preface on looks. I think twin looks cooler. Intake. It gives us more horsepower. And I think it like makes my graph look a little bit cooler. Can I get more power out of this? Whoa! Okay, if we go to 8,800, we start to break the pistons. So, I mean, 8,500 revs is ridiculous out of a muscle car. Absolutely ridiculous. I'll leave it at 8,500. I, I might, might drop that back down. Might put that up a little bit as well. Okay, so where are we looking then? Ah, uh, now we can get some more power out of this. Or do I want power? What am I looking at here? Like... Purse... Nah, personal and directs it. Performance... 
doesn't really change too much now. What about the fuel mixture? What if we change that? Nah, that's got rid of the knocking. Twenty one point five is still decent. Three hundred seventy one horsepower. I'm quite happy with. You know, although that was super quick. What about if we bypass? No, we lose a load of power. You know, I'm not too upset with this. If I drop that back a little bit, it doesn't really affect too much. I can't believe... Eight and a half thousand revs is insane! You rev that so high! And I've got a, a, what is it, race intake on, so the loudness is, is quite high. Uh, but I don't really care. The high smoothness rating, I mean, it's a good engine. It might be one of the best engines I've made. Okay. Now that's a sound. Now that's a sound I can get behind, right? Okay. On to the guy. Uh, save. Uh, I didn't name it. It doesn't matter. So, we're going to want to have rear wheel drive. It has to be. It's a muscle. You want it to drift about and stuff. Um, sequential gearbox or manual gearbox? I'll go manual for now. And you know what? Because it's sort of modern, we might go with. I'll go with six for now, but I might go with seven. Top speed out of this engine. You want to have a decent amount of speed. I'm going to guess like 180 miles an hour. If we can get 180 miles an hour, that would be an amazing speed for this. I think that would really battle against the sort of... I mean, a supercar territory. 180, 155 is what most cars are limited to on the road. Like if they can do, you know, decent... Like BMWs and stuff limited to 155. Um, so 180 would be amazing. Okay, I'll leave it at 50 for the moment. You were probably going to want like... a. a like one of these, probably well, that one. I don't know. We'll go with that one for the moment. Sports compound tires. Now, this is where we really need to try and get something going. I think we're going to go with 265s on the front and the back. And probably bump those up. 19-inch rims look about right. I think they look healthy looking. And I'm not going to buy with any offset at the moment. We'll go with alloy wheels. I think carbon fiber is a little bit crazy. Uh, Venter discs, two pistons, bump that up. Venter disc, I don't know, one piston, bump that up. I don't know what we're going to need. It's just they're all placeholders at the moment for the moment. Uh, that one, leave that how it is. This, in the Unreal Engine version of this game, this doesn't really seem to make any difference that I've played with at all so far. Like, any meaningful difference. I might be using it wrong, but like, in the last, in, in, in the, like, standard version of this game that isn't like in the unreal engine here uh that's like a huge part that you have to like tweak with two or four seats yeah four would be cool to have premium premium uh that one launch control for sure and they always like in this game they always like the best um uh safety you can get even though it adds weight Active sport, semi-active, that will do. So what are we in then? Family sport because of the four seats. That's what that will be. Fun premium. That's exactly sort of what I'm going for. Uh, I haven't got muscle up here, strangely enough. Convertible sport. Um, yeah, I can actually see that car with the convertible version, so that makes sense. And track premium. Yeah, I suppose so. What does it say? NA. There we go. Get rid of that. Yeah, okay. Uh, a little bit of body roll, so we can fix and tune that out a little bit. Um, I'm surprised muscle isn't in there. If we go to stat uh, markets here, not even on the board for muscle. I wonder. I wonder why that is. Because of too many seats, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know enough about this game to like. Um, know what contributes to certain things 
How much does it cost to make? 22,000. You know, that's not like terribly high. And how long does it take to make? 73.4. This is in months. This is 73 months to produce. That's super low. Like, actually pretty decent realistic time to produce a car like some cars that you can make on this game if you turn the sliders all the way up you'll see and that didn't affect it at all crazy um especially with the engine uh that'll go up like crazy amounts so you can get like a car that costs that, that takes like 300 and something months which is like 20 years to make something stupid like that okay 170 miles an hour is the top speed i can get it to 170 one you know i'm not upset 171 sounds pretty damn good to me seven gears seven gears these categories like them in fact they all like them what about sequential sequential they like sequential family sport like sequential gearing what about all-wheel drive no Definitely like the rear-wheel drive. Okay, so we're over 100 already, which is amazing. I'm happy with that. Was that fast? No. 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 171.5. 170 miles an hour out of a 3.5 litre engine. I'd, I'd go with that. 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds. I mean, it's not great. Well, I mean, it is, it's pretty great. I mean, I mean, we're talking that... We're, we're talking like... like I don't know. What goes not 60 in 4.8 seconds? Like, mm, most supercars. I mean, yeah, they ones can do it like two. But, I mean, this is like decent territory for a rear wheel drive car. We might be able to get that better with some bigger wheels because we've got 1.3% wheel spin as well. Do they like any of these better? Uh, fun, fun likes having the LSD. But Family Sport likes it not having it. it. Makes it cheaper not having it. By two months. It takes two months to put one of those in, apparently. Ah, no, I'll keep it on that one. Anything different here? No, nope, got the right tyres. So, this is the weird one, right? Drivability is 91%, sportiness 989 I mean, that's pretty good on its own. Um, but what if we bump these up? So, that's gone from 90... Whoa, what was that? 91.99, let's say, to 91.99. Ooh, 91.790. Ooh, okay. So having a slightly smaller front one. Ooh. 90.9 and 99. That's better. That's a little bit better. Um, why? <laughs> why would be slightly smaller tires be worse? Uh -huh. Nope. I think I think I'm happy there. I mean, I, it'd be nice to get rid of some of this wheel spin. How could I do that? Would it be that way or that way? You know, that's the best with the 0.8 on it. I'm going to go with that. A little bit wheel spin there. Okay, what are our brakes? Our brakes are underpowered. Fair enough. Not a problem. Bump that up. I mean, where's the best point for it to be? 0 0.3. I see a 0 0.3 there. The back ones are already about right. But if we can have a, li a little bit of... Now, 0 0.3 is where it want to be. Yeah, it definitely likes that the best. That puts Fun Premium at the top. That puts Family Sport at the top. It just sort of flicks him around that little tiny bit. But why? Because it makes it worse. No, I like I like to have a little bit of like excess in the brakes. Oh, oh, oh. There's a point four there. Yeah, point four. Uh, bad type. Usually these don't really affect too much. Nope, let's bang on. I don't need to worry about off-road and utility. So, whenever these are green, we're good. 
Perfect. Good breaking. Happy with that. Uh, I don't think we need... Oh, downforce? No, didn't like downforce. Didn't like that. Although I've got... Because it's a modded wing on here, I don't think it's programmed to change anything. Uh, that doesn't really matter anyway. Two seats. Oh, they prefer two seats. It gets rid of family sport, but in its place... See, we're in fun premium, but it's sport budget because our car is so cheap. I don't know. It just likes two seats better. Now, what about this? Now, we were right with premium. And it likes a little bit of... Ooh. It liked a, a little bit of quality in there, too. Oh, and it likes a luxury HUD. I'm going with the markets here. We might as well go with the markets now. Now it likes a good amount of that. Yeah. You know, for 0.2, I'm not even going to bother. I'll do that one to get to 110. Yeah, and as we know, they love their safety. 110. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, suspension. This is like the hardest part. I'm going to hold this actually for this. No, it definitely like that. Definitely like that. Now, sport. Race. Off-road. Okay. Uh, revert to hell to trim. And we lost 110. I don't get it. Am I bottoming out at all? I'm not bottoming out at all. Roll angle's 5%, now, uh, 5 degrees, which is like the acceptable amount. That's like, if as long as you're 5 degrees or below, uh, you know, the, the guy who made the game said it's pretty good. So, I mean, I'm happy with that. See, that puts the roll angle up. Why did it put it up like that? Oh, because it sort of reset it. I want to try and get that down. How can I get the roll angle down? Making the strings stiffer? Yeah. 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 Comfort is still way up. 54 on comfort. Oh! I can tuning. I'm not usually that good at tuning. I mean... I don't want it to be, like, crazy uncomfortable. I'm going with the markets here. I'm trying to look at the markets and look at the roll angle. While trying to drop down. Keeping an eye on this. Keeping an eye on that. Keeping an eye on this. And keeping an eye on that. All at the same time. Wrong way. 3.5. Ooh, 112. You know, 3.4 degrees. I'm super happy with it. It's still comfortable. Uh, what's the MPG? 20.4. I mean, that's not... But for 170 mile an hour car, 20.4, I'll take. I'll take. What if we drop this down as well? That helps a little bit. Oh, I like that height too. Maybe up a little bit. Up there. Yeah! All right. Now... Uh, what do we what do we go round in in the end? What did it end up being? End up being twenty three point three. You know that's an acceptable amount. Test track. I'll be quiet. Oh, it's too loud for me. What are they doing? One twenty one point five nine. Let me just load up Google here. Uh, top Gear. Power lap times. All right, what do we get? 121. We are... For for a budget car... Remember, this is budget. What was it? 121.59. Aston Martin DB11. Ferrari 599. Faster than a Porsche 7... Uh, a Porsche Cayman. Faster than a Jaguar F-Type. Faster than a v, uh, Audi R8 V10. Faster than a 4 GT. Faster than a Porsche 997. Faster than a Ferrari 360. Faster than a Porsche 911 GT3. No, faster than Noble. We're just behind Ferrari 458 Italia. 
uh, Enzo Ferrari, Lamborghini Murcielago, Bugatti Veyron. We're just a little bit slow. We're, I was with three seconds slower around the track around the track than a Veyron. I'll take that for a rear-wheel drive car. I bet if we made this four-wheel drive, we could really get some stickiness down. Did I just get some more speed out of that? Nope. Nope. Good. You know, that's that's pretty good. I'm happy. 112 uh, under fun. And boy, does it look like a fun car to drive. I want one. Hey, I would buy that right now. It's so sexy. Okay, let's close her up. Let's get her in the uh, photo scene. Where do we want to go for this? Where do we want to go? Probably a uh, small factory. Come on. Uh, road. Oh, no, the road isn't very good for lighting, I found. I found corner a lot better. Oh, it looks so cool, right? Uh, turn it that way. Time of day. Yeah. What about the filter? No, I don't like the filter. Oh, I do. I do like the filter though. Trying to get it a bit brighter, just so we can see it on the thumbnail. Yeah, with the shine on there like that. Now that's a car right there, isn't it? Boom. Snap. All right, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want to, then feel free to subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode.